toying with the idea of getting a Team Black Sheep Capriana, or however you say it. Uh, but the fact it runs on a, or it's recommended to run on a two cell LiPo, it got me thinking, what would happen to my RC system as it stands if I turn the voltage down or I run it off a two cell? So I tried plugging in a two cell battery and everything works perfectly fine. So that led me to think, now what would happen when that battery starts running low? So I decided to try things out and the results were quite interesting. So I've got my power supply here, it's a switch power supply, it goes up to, I uh, can't remember, 20 volts or something, and um, I can adjust the voltage right down to 1 point something volts. So I've got my uh, Swift here, my Maxi Swift, or cut down Maxi Swift, and it's got an FY31AP uh, autopilot and a Hornet OSD. I've got a immersion RC video transmitter, um, easy UHF and a board cam from Security Cam 2000. I can't remember exactly what one it is, it's a PZ something or another. And I've got a Boss Cam HD19 recorder. So I'll power that up as well actually. Okay, so the voltage is set to 12.6 volts on my power supply, which is reporting. 12.5 volts on the OSD, which is interesting. And now I'm going to turn the voltage down gradually. So I'll go down to roughly the voltage of a fully charged two cell, which is around 8.2 volts, I'd say, is a nice healthy charge. And as you can see, everything's working fine. I've still got video, uh, cameras are running. Easy UHF looks fine, everything's spot on. So let's drop it down to 7 volts. So this is a voltage of a very low 2 cell battery. Now you can see my video, my video feed is going a bit grainy and quite dark. In fact it looks awful. So I go back up another little bit. So it's around the 8 volt mark, so anything under 8 volts and the video is gone. Well not gone, but it's, it's gone grainy. So let's keep going down. Alright, see, oh, see around just under 7 volts, the camera starts losing its colour, starts losing its brightness. So it's 6.6 .6 volts there. I've still got the video signal pretty clean other than the camera image is terrible and I've got a black and white picture coming from my flight cam. My boss cam is still working. I thought that would have gone off by now. So let's go down and have a couple more. Oh there goes the camera. So we're at 6.5 volts the camera's shut down pretty much just a white screen. 6.3 6.4 6 volts. We've got a wobbly white screen now. OSD is still working. Video transmitter is still working. My tiny telemetry is on. My easy UHF is still going. My HD19 is still alive. Right, let's go down again. Okay, let's go 5.5 .5 volts. The image seems to have stabilised, which is interesting. We've still got an OSD, still got video transmitter, still got everything else other than the camera. Let's go down to 5 volts. That's 5 volts now, camera's completely gone. Still got an OSD though, which is interesting. 5 volts, or 4.9 to 5 volts on the OSD. Still got video transmitter, still got easy UHF, still got tiny telemetry. Right, let's go down to 4.5, oh, there we go. What are we at? 4.7, my Easy UHS flashing, my time and time telemetry is going mad. Still got a video, but the OSD has gone. Let's go a bit more. There we go, video transmitter has gone. At 4.6 volts. I've got a tiny telemetry still flashing, but not quite enough power to run it. My video transmitter 
looks like it's on, but it's obviously not transmitting. And my Easy UHF's completely gone. My HD19's gone off. And now my servos are going wild. So, anything under about 5 volts and the system's gone. Hmm. Right, so bring it back up to 5 volts and I get back Easy UHF and my H oh, my video transmitter's not coming back though. Where does that come back? Oh, there we go. Video transmitter comes back at about just over 5 volts. So it's a shame if my camera worked at lower voltages, I could get away without using the step up transformer. I hope somebody found this interesting. Cheers, guys.